doing all right uh, with this uh, lockdown. Uh, I've not been on for a wee while. I took some time out away from social media and Facebook, Instagram and things like that because I wanted to spend some more time with my family. Uh, getting caught up on uh, Facebook and things like that and Messenger and Instagram and YouTube and you forget about the most important things in your life and that's your family. So I've took a good two or three month out of it uh, and I've enjoyed it to be fair. Uh, obviously I've been on the Facebook pages explain to the, the Mac and Wonders and that that was taking some time out and they understand so I'm, I'm, I'm getting there and I'm starting to enjoy family life here uh, but I still miss I still miss going out camp and miss the banter with the lads and all that but I'm going to give myself a wee bit more time uh, before I delve back into the social media side of things uh, Aye, so now the whole purpose of this this video is uh, obviously been on lockdown. You can only do so much gardening, decorating, just finding stuff to do basically. So I've uh, made myself a, a battery box. I've, I've noticed when I get camping after I'll take these wee. Uh, wee power banks which are they are they're ideal but they don't last you all the time so I thought I'd make a a battery box but before I, I show you I just want to give you a shout out to uh, a guy called JDS Outdoors. Now if it wasn't for his video I wouldn't have been able to make this. So I'll give you a look at it now. No, it's a I've got a twelve volt, twelve amp hour lead acid battery in it. No, that is easy to make if you follow JDS Outdoors's video. No, the lad goes through it from the beginning to cutting all the holes out to wire it all up right through it all and it goes step by step so if you ever fancy making one he's the lad to have a look at I'll show you inside it right that's it there that's the the hearty you might think it looks complicated but as I say JDS Outdoors goes through it every way if I never watched his video I would have been able to do it so if I can do it you could probably do it because uh, when it comes to things like this, I'm thick as shit. So, that's the inside of it. So, I'll just shut that out. Then I'll get through it, get through it with you. Now, all the components are all individually switched. And that's just to save battery power, basically. So. If I switch this button on here, that switches my voltmeter on. Now what's that reading? That's reading 12.9. It's a brand new battery, isn't it? So, that's that's the voltmeter on there. Now, this one here, now, I would uh, close your eyes because it's quite bright. This this is the LEDs. So, I'm going to switch on now. As you can see, it's got LEDs all the way around it. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, why is it get rid on there? Well, I'll tell you a story about that one. I ordered the LEDs for China, thinking it was 10 white, and they sent 6 white and 4 red. Now, I didn't even know when I put these on that there was red LEDs, but the way they've worked out <laughs> is I've got the four, 6 white at the front and the 4 at the back. That was just popped up, it's worked out that way, so it doesn't look that bad, but I think it kind of looks kind of funky. 
No, I mean, so plenty of, plenty of light there. Now, the third one is my USB. And I'll switch that one off. That one here is my 12 volt cigarette lighter. And that one there is my power jacks. Now, I've never tried them yet, so I need to make something to go into them. Bye. So I'll show you where all the lights went. Right. That's the LEDs. That's my voltmeter. Uh, sorry, that's my USB port. That's my 12 volt cigarette cigarette lighter port. And that's my uh, jacks. I'll just switch it off. I'll switch the other big light off and have a better look at it. There you go, that's what it looks like. Quite funky in it. All the way around. Alright, spot on. So, uh, I'll tell you the cost. What it cost me anyway. Hold on. Switch everything off. Strap the right, the box itself <coughs> is it's a Plano ammo box. Now, as I say, on JDS is out JDS outdoors video. It's it's basically the, the, the exact same setup that he made. But I like the box because obviously it's waterproof and it's got a rubber seal on the way around. So. All the components are going to be waterproof, and uh, all the, the switches and all that are waterproof as well. So, uh, aye, the box in America costs you seven dollars, but there's plenty of boxes you can buy. They're all different, different uh, styles of boxes uh, that suits you. Basically, some are cheaper. As I say, I paid about fifteen, sixteen quid or something like that. I mean. For this box. Now the battery is a Lucas 12 volt 12 amp hour. Now that was 30 quid. Uh, the fuse box which is that bit there I think that cost us a tenner. I did buy spades which are Books of them, and obviously to buy 16, 16 gauge red and black wire. I think that was different. And obviously the the USB and the, the switches and all that they all came from China. I waited a couple of weeks for these to come in, so I only got them in a couple of days ago. So I made it in a couple of days, basically. I made it. In a, I had it made in about about a day. Uh, and that was me just back and forward to it. So I, I like it. I think I've done a good job myself. So if you fancy making one, just go into JDS Outdoors. He walks you through everything. Uh, for actually cutting the holes out. To putting the components in, to wiring it up, to putting the fuses, just everything, he just does, does everything. So, uh, aye, I would recommend having a look at his channel. Oh, I, I would say, oh, I'm roughly aye, sorry, I would say, I have to buy them another, hold on, I'll show you. I decent set, I. Uh, Wire shivers. 
you need them. Because that, uh, there's obviously on the switch on these. Obviously on the smaller wires. This wee tool, I got that for Amazon. I only paid a tenner for it, but it's ideal. It cuts the thinnest, thinnest of wires. What the, the protection, the sheathing off it. Dead easy. So, aye. There you have it. That's the DIY wax, DIY wax, DIY power box. Great job for it. So. I'll leave it there. Yeah. Uh, and I would just like to raise a glass to all the NHS workers out there. You know, the care home staff, every, 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 every day to day we care uh, this horrible time, which it is. Uh, and just hope everybody stays safe. And we'll probably see you. You know this is her. So, for me, take care, and I hope to see you soon. Ta-da.